Welcome back to Smart Spain, Information Technology Blog. Today we continue review a Linux operating system and how you can use command line. So this tutorial was specifically created just for the beginners and I'm going to show you guys how you can move, copy, delete files by using command line. So if you're interested, stay with me and I'm going to show you how. Okay guys, so let's log on to our Linux operating system. In my case, like I said before, it's going to be uh, Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to type in my password and I'm in. Okay guys, so now we can create and move and delete folders. So I'm going to start first from checking where I am right now by PWD and I know that I'm in the Pi folder. So I want to look what is inside this folder. I'm just using ls command. And I see that I have created folder txt file and my files. That's all inside of the Pi folder. So right now I want to create one more folder and one more uh, text file. Which one we want to go, which one we're going to move in after from, uh, for instance, from my folder to the new one created folder right now. Okay, so let's create a new folder. And we're gonna call this uh, computers devices. Uh, created folder with MKDIR. And we're gonna name this computer devices. And now we can check that we now uh, where we have computer devices. Computer devices just appear right here. It's just from the left side because it's a long one compared with a short one name. So now we have computer devices created folder. And what if I want to create the new one files inside of this computer devices folder? So we just need to go to inside of this folder and create a new file. TXT file, txt file, sorry, uh, like, us, like I told you before, how we created this file. So let's create the file inside of the computer device folder. So we're gonna name it, for instance, we're gonna name it um, new devices. So our file is gonna be calling new devices, which is gonna be inside of the computer devices. So let's create this file. No, no. Uh, now we have to go to inside of the computer, computer uh, devices folder forward slash and how we want to name it, new devices, just as a sample, I'm going to start from the capital, devices right so just check the spelling not a computer devices forward slash new devices so let's create and now we are right inside of the new one txt file so i'm not gonna leave this file empty i'm gonna put some like uh, any any device you want to put inside computer the tablet uh, uh, smart uh, phone for instance anything anything um, just let's leave it like that just three names should be enough and now we say that by control O and it's gonna prompt you if you want to leave the same name or you want to change it so in my case I want to leave the same name as we just gonna be pointed to new device folder and click enter and now we're gonna click control X and we just uh, we just uh, sign out from this folder and after that we can move files so we're gonna move files uh, for instance we're gonna move files like uh, new devices files we're gonna move to uh, my files folder where is the located our different folder so we're gonna just rotate them but before we're gonna move I want to see what is inside of folder my files 
So I want to just look what is inside of this folder. And how we gonna look ls and my files. Oh. ls my files. So yeah, we, we just right now we just right now see uh, we got my dog txt file so we uh, we wanted this file to be appear right inside of the computer devices file and um, new devices file we want to appear right inside of my files so how we gonna do this so we gonna do first we gonna move um, let's for instance we're gonna move first new devices to my files and after we're gonna move uh, my dog txt file to computer devices so let's do this right now and um, how are we gonna do this by using command mv which is stand for move move after space then we need to know which folder we want to move to so we need to know um, the source files first. The source file is going to be from for computer devices forward slash and new devices. So we want to move new devices, which is this one, from folder computer devices to folder my files space and now we need destination folder so destination folder is going to be my my files and by clicking enter the files is going to be disappear from computer devices and should appear in my folder so by what if i want to check uh, what is inside of uh, it doesn't really move from computer devices by checking we're gonna check a list look command list command so now we can come computer devices and now it's empty so there's no any result but what if i want to check the my files so if i want to check my files we need to see the same command files and we should see the two files. So now we have one my dog files and one new device file. So now we need to move my dog files back to computer device files. And how we do this? So first command we know that MV, which is stand for move. Now we need to source file. The source file where we wanna get this file from and move to so the source file is going to be my files my files then we need to know which file um sorry my files is a folder so now we need to know which files we want to remove so my dog files my dog the txt and now we need to know destination folder. The destination folder is going to be computer devices. Don't forget about space. And destination computer computer devices folder. Computer devices folder. And now we should see what is inside computer um, devices folder. And now we see that we now have a txt file right inside of the computer devices folder so it's it does it's not that hard guys to to move files back and forward if you know just even basic command uh, what i'm gonna do if i want to copy file for instance if i want to copy my doc txt files to my files where it was previously so by copy, it's of course going to be CP, which is stands for copy, space. Um, so now we need the source file from which you want to take this file and copy to somewhere. 
So the source file is gonna be computer devices because now our my .txt file located in computer devices folder. So now we go to computer devices folder and uh, forward slash my my uh, doc that txt file space don't forget about space guys and now we need to decide in which folder you want to copy in my case like i said before i want to copy to my files folder where it was previously located so now we need to files folder and by hitting enter you should see you should see no any result but what if you want to look what is inside of my file folder if you go to ls my files folders and now you should see voila you hear two files already and you can check if it disappeared from my computer folder Devices folder just go and now you see it's still there so we just copy it but what if i don't want to be uh, my uh, doc takes you file anymore in a computer device folder. How am I gonna remove this permanently? So if I want to remove this file, I'm gonna use rn, which is stand for remove, then space. Then we need the source file for which I want to remove. Com um, sorry, computer devices folder and which file I want to remove from here so it's going to be my dog.txt file and now it's removed if you're going to look at uh, computer devices folder it's empty there is no anything empty so we just remove permanently my dog.txt file which is deleted from just this folder but it's not deleted from my files folder if you want to just double check if it was deleted from my files folder just go up to list and my files folder and check it was deleted no it's still there it still remain so we have two folders but we still have empty computer devices folder what if i want to copy my devices folder back to computer devices so let's copy from my folder to computer devices folder by copying using cp command space the source uh, the source folder is going to be my files folder then forward slash don't forget about forward slash and that one's going to be new new analysis which is txt file that we want to remove from uh, my files back to computer device folder don't forget about space space and uh, computer devices folder and hit enter and now we can check computer devices folder and see you get a file back right inside the computer device folder I think it's pretty much for this tutorial guys and don't forget safely shutting down your operating system which is in our case Linux so I want to show you how you can clear history if you uh, if you was um, um, if you pay attention to how I clear the history in the previous tutorial by tapping uh, by tapping uh, clear you guys can easily clear your history so don't see all this done needed tags right in front of your eyes and if you want to shut it down your system safely you can just uh, click sudo which is give you admin root, root privilege because i'm not using root privilege on top i'm using it remotely in my case and sudo allow you root privilege and hold command allow you to shut it down your system safely whenever i click hold as you can see guys my system is shutting down currently which is raspberry pi
That's it guys, that was part 2 of Lattice tutorial for the beginners and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel or hit likes and I'll see you guys in the next part, cheers.